if it looked like, let me stop this. If it looked like last night's, last week's video was a mishmash of clips with no real cohesion and no real intent, it probably was it because it was simply because I had nothing else to um, to put out, and I wanted to keep, I wanted to put something out on a Sunday and was that mess that I put out better than nothing at all? I guess that is a video for another day. But for today, we are gonna try and do a proper video. Now, I'm I'm toying between having a video that's just efficient and telling you about a place, or having a video that is going to um, be more of a vlog of me talking and walking and doing things like this. So I'm not sure I'm just kind of getting across the crossroads. I'm not sure what I will get or what I will share. Uh, maybe both. Maybe it will be a bit of a vlog and an efficient um, info log about where I'm going, which is a place called Hengisbury Head. It's about 50 minutes from my house. I've just dropped Max off at school. I'm on my own today, so I'm hoping that I can do a good, it's probably going to be about a four or five mile hike, um, taking a couple of routes out at Hengisbury Head and showing you around, taking some pictures, and just generally uh, take, having a look around and seeing, seeing what sort of video I can put together when I am really concentrating on it. So, welcome, enjoy the ride, enjoy the drive, enjoy the photos, enjoy the look around Hengisbury Head and I guess I'll see you when we get there. Bye for now. This is Hengusbury Head. I thought I might be alone here today because it's a weekday, but they bought a whole whole school down by the looks of it but we're gonna go for a walk we've just parked up in the car park I'm gonna give myself four hours here it's at seven pound for parking uh, which is quite a lot obviously um, but there's two walks we're gonna do it take, one takes us around the coast so I think it's a little bit up high near the sea you might be able to see uh, I can't really point to it over there somewhere I think it goes up there um, and the other one comes right back, back round by the bay or by the harbour, which I'll show you as we get further around. So let's walk this way. See what we see. We are taking the scenic route on the way there. Oh, I say the scenic, I'm sure they're both scenic, but this way takes us up onto the hill and across the, the high point to the actual head, I think. And then we'll come down the other side into um, to, the, to the very far end where all the beach huts are opposite Motherford Quay. Uh, and then we'll come back by the harbour way I think but that may all change because I've really not walked this way before but we're heading this way and then we're going to bend off to the left. That way goes to the beach which I don't want to do today. Actually let's go and show you. Let's go and have a quick look. So that was a quick view of the beach and we're now heading up the hill to the top of the head I think. Hopefully we're going to get better views and do the, um, I guess it can be classed as a long way around on the hike. I can see the train over there but I'm going to miss videoing it but we'll get it again on the way around. OK, 
Okay, so we've just come over that hill that you can see behind me and we're now heading slightly downhill. We're still on the coast. We can see the, the sea out to our right over there. Be careful. Uh, loads of flies. I keep getting uh, flies landing on me, but sand flies or I don't know what they are, but be prepared. Um, so the road just bends around now. We're gonna, I think it hugs the cliff top and eventually bends down into the beach huts that you saw a picture of or a video of maybe a second ago. If not, I'll show you here. Uh, but it's all tarmac at the moment, so you're not allowed to cycle this way. I'm assuming you can bring buggies and things, but um, it's definitely an easy path to walk as long as you can handle the hills. So, uh, so we're going to head this way. So it's really quite pleasant um, here walking and a bit of a G gentle sea breeze. Uh, I'll show you, we're just coming up to the, what could be the head itself, so we'll take a picture there. But what I wanted to say right now while it's a little bit quieter is that I'm really not quite sure what this what this channel is going to be about. One day I want it to just be a, a, a resource for people that want to find out about a particular place. So here's Hengersbury Head. This is what you do, this is where you park, this is how much it costs, these are the walks, this is the train. Hope you found a useful kind of video. Or do I want it to be a bit more about me, about doing things like this, about, um, about walking, about seeing the sights, about sharing my thoughts and things like that. So I'm not quite sure which way I'm going to go. Maybe I'll do both, like I said before, but who knows. What would be useful for me is if anyone has, has watching the videos, what do you prefer? Have a look at both of them. The info log for this is only going to probably be about three or four minutes long. This one, um, where you hear me rambling on, will be um, slightly longer because it's going to have a bit more information in it. So. It'd be good for me to know where I should spend my time. I enjoy doing both. I want to do both. Um, but I want it also to be useful. So let me know down below. So we have just got, we, I, I'm here on my own today. I have just got down those stairs and if you turn right to the bottom of the stairs, you come out onto the beach and I'm pretty certain that if you head that way, you will go back round to the beach from the, um, and you can see the beach that I showed you from the top of the cliff before we started. And it's, um, it's easy. I mean, I'm not particularly fit and I've done it. A few stairs and a couple of slopes, but Nothing too challenging, and there was older people and unfitter people than me up there, so... Uh, well, I assume they're unfitter than me. Um, I'd like to think they were. Um, but they probably weren't. So yeah, so we're on the beach now, and um, I am going to have a quick look around here before I head back along past all the beach huts to right to the very end and show you Mudderford Quay across the water. So let's head that way now. There the stairs we just came down uh, before we walk around the corner. We're now going to head this way along past the harbour and past the beach huts. Okay. 
Okay, so I wasn't expecting to come through that little tunnel of weeds there, but there is a main path where you could have just gone round that tunnel and, and come back along this way. The other thing I struggle with is talking when there's other people around, talking to you guys when there's when there's people around. There's people around now that are really quite on edge, but I guess practice will make perfect. We shall see. That is the end of Hengusbury Head coming out onto the view over to Muddiford Quay. I'm going to grab myself a drink before I walk back and I think it is about a 1.5 mile back, I think, the short way, but I'll confirm that. I'm just going to show you the other side where the beach is now. So we come through that little track, we're on the mud path now and it is, it is mud so uh, this is England, this is the middle of July and there's water here. It's also probably from the, um, we've got the uh, Muddiford Sands Pit, I think it's called on that side and obviously the harbour on that side so it's probably a high water table, I don't know what I'm talking about to be honest with you but there's probably a lot of water around here anyway. So it's probably like this all the time, but just a word of warning if you come in flip flops or high heels, unlikely, but be warned. coming up to the same path the train goes on so we'll uh, should go back to tarmac in a minute so that wasn't too bad well I can only imagine that that was the same train that was leaving it was loading up as we were um as we were walking past it so that way we walked it was pretty quick if you consider he's driving and we made it to the, sorry it's not gonna be the same speed all the way back to base but or to the visitor center but it's the same speed um to that point which i think is a lot quicker so there you go another top tip so i'm pretty certain this is the footpath that's going to come out on um 
a nice little jetty thing going down here to the little beach. See what this is. Anyway, um, I think we are now on the road that comes out to the visitor centre where we hit the crossroads earlier today or earlier in this video and we turned right and went up the hill. Perhaps I'll stick a little clip of that in here so that you can know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I was distracted then. Um, so yeah, so we are, we've nearly done the full loop. I've been out for two hours, 20 minutes, but I haven't hurried. I have taken my time, so I reckon it's gonna be about two and a half hours, maybe two hours, 45 minutes by the time I get back to the car, but a good easy walk. So definitely one I'd recommend. See you in a minute. in the crossroads I was telling you about so we've done a full circle now it's just back past the past the visitor centres and past the car so I would just like to say a big thank you for watching and don't forget if you want to see more of this rubbish to subscribe to the channel and if you like this mishmash of video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video bye bye bye